Good morning, everyone. We're here with our travel guru, Jane Gunn. Nice to see you. Happy so New Year. Happy New Year, Anna. So good to see you. So good to see you, too. We missed you. And so she's talking to us about something very important today. Um, there's a lot of confusion around it, and that is this real ID. Yes, yeah. It, it's definitely going into effect October 1st of this year. You know, they started rolling out this Real ID Act um, after 9-11, and there were several phases. But the one that affects travelers, uh, they've given a hard deadline. They're saying October 1st of this year. Mm -hmm. And basically, Basically, what it is, it's, it's to prevent bad people from getting fraudulent driver's license. Mm -hmm. So now, to get this real ID, when you go, you have to go in person to the Office of Motor Vehicles. You can't do it online because you have to take additional proof with you that you are who you say you are. So to get this real ID, and that's mainly what I want to let people know because I've had so many people tell me they went out there and they didn't have what they needed. Mm -hmm. So you do have to have proof of citizenship. If you've got a passport, a valid passport, you can use that. If not, you have to have your birth certificate because it proves you were born in the United States. You also have to have your Social Security card or something with your Social Security number on it, like um, a 1099 or W-2. You have to have that. And then you also have to have two items that show where you live. So whether it's a utility bill or a couple of utility bills, um, maybe it's like a bank statement, but you have to have two items with your home address on it. So, and one thing that I noticed, because when I got my Louisiana license, it already came with a little star at the top. It's at the top right corner. So that's one of the ways that people can identify that it is a real ID. Right. If, it's a real, if you take all of this proof, when you get your license, it will have a star in the upper right-hand corner. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, that when they issue a license and it's not a real ID, it's actually going to say on there that it's not for federal um, institutions. Because so, mm -hmm. you can't um, go on a military base. There's other wow. federal institutions that you cannot get into um, after October 1st without that real ID. So everybody definitely has to go to the DMV, upgrade your license. Because I know for one, when I travel, I don't, if I'm in the States, I don't usually take a passport. Right. So, you know, it would be devastating for somebody to have a trip, you know, right after. And exactly. then they're like, hey, you can't get on the plane. That's right. And you don't want to wait to the last minute because just like with anything, those who wait to the last minute, you're going to have much longer lines mm -hmm. um, because there'll be a lot of people who do wait to the last minute. So you don't want that aggravation. So start early. Mm -hmm. um, I want to let people know at the first of the year because a lot of people, you know, their license may expire and they need to get them renewed. So why not go ahead and take what you need and get the real ID mm -hmm. and just not have to worry about it. But the other thing that was confusing people, if you do have a U.S. passport and say maybe your license are not set to expire and you don't want to go to the trouble and the expense, you can travel with your passport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah. So you have a choice, you know, it's up to you. Yeah, I'm always sort of being safe. I would just get the extra, Me too. you know, go the extra mile, <laughs> get the ID. And if you want to travel and you want to do it even after October 1st, this is your lady right here, oh, so Miss Jane Gunn. And how can they contact you? Uh, just give us a call at the travel company. It's 388-TRIP, 388-8747, or come see us on North 18th Street. Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you for telling us about this really important information. We're going to have all this on our website, myarclemess.com.